What purpose does the gentlewoman from New York seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, to address the House for one minute and revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise on this day, the first day of Black History Month, unfortunately during a moment of unprecedented assaults on truth by those desperate to rewrite America's history. In this troubling time of banned books and council curriculums, it is with great urgency that I stand before you to celebrate the profound history of our nation that far too many far-right zealots are fighting to conceal. This is a special month defined in equal parts, triumph and tragedy, and centered in pride and appreciation because our African-American forebears rose above oppression and helped create the greatest nation the modern world has ever seen. Make no mistake, only the ashamed and the afraid hide from history. Black Americans never have and never will. For ours is a story of victory over adversity, determination in the face of uncertainty, and the courage of our convictions. Our story is America's story, so let us never forget. Let us never concede. Let us never be silenced when we say that black history is American history. And I yield back. For what purpose is the gentleman from Wisconsin seeking